Hello everyone and very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I am so excited guys. I am so excited for this video. I'm gonna try out a first and second impression with the new palette from Ace Boutte. I have it here. <laughs> this looks like a board game by the way. You get actually a game with this. Like a card game or something. I don't know. Uh, it's a game anyway, but it's eyeshadow palette as well. I'm not gonna say it was a struggle to get it, but it I didn't think I would get it. And then I actually found a website that actually had a spate in Europe. So I'm very happy. And if this is the first time here, very welcome. My name is Angelica, as I said, and I hope you are excited too about this palette because here on this channel we love makeup, we love eyeshadow palettes, we love colorful looks, we love neutral looks, we love everything in between. So if you enjoy that, don't forget to subscribe. I upload three videos a week on Monday, Wednesday and Fridays. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So as I said, as you all know if you have been here, I have been wanting this palette uh, for since it released, I believe, or I've seen it and I wanted to get it and I decided I'm gonna get it. It's an indie brand from the US and Ace Bate, and this is the Palette Opaly palette. Uh, and it's inspired by games, but I wanted to get this palette because it's beautiful and I put it in my cart and it was 50 US dollars, but when I came to shipping, it was 55 US dollars for the shipping, which is absolutely crazy. I couldn't pay that much. I can't pay more sh shipping than actually the product I'm gonna get. So I decided not to get it. And one of you guys DM me on Instagram that there was a website that has a spate and they actually just had $12 of shipping and no like customs, no taxes, nothing. So I'm pretty happy. And this, I'm gonna link it down below guys. I'm gonna link a uh website and also this monolith uh, Monolith Beauty and Lifestyle website down below because they have a lot of brands and it was great. It was great shipping, it was fast if you live in Europe, perfect. But this is the palette anyway. Well, this is the outer packaging. Look how <laughs> cool this is. This looks like a board game, as I said. It's really, really cool. And when we open it up, it has a lot of things in it. So you actually have a game and you also have some instructions and you also have some like instructions for your eyes and the game. And the palette is of course inside and you also have like a notebook with things. I think it's the, with the game to have to do with the game and also some cards and two pencils. I am so excited. Maybe I'm gonna try this game. I think it's I think it seems very fun that they did something like this, but the star of the show is of course the eyeshadow palette. It's here and let me open it up. The, or the outer packaging looks like this. This is just bring the fun back to makeup. It's very 80s <laughs> inspired, I feel like. And it's gorgeous. It has a big mirror and it has these beautiful bright shades. It goes from light to dark and it, these shimmers look sparkly AF. I mean super sparkly. That's my jam and I love the color story like pinks and murky greens and yellow and a little more neutral dark and you have a row of purple and you have more pinks <laughs> or purple and you have a blue row as well and I'm so 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 pumped to try this palette. So guys, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna do the first look. Okay, so as I said, I am so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy I have this palette now. And I wanna thank you, uh, you know who you are, who contacted me on Instagram and told me about this website. I definitely gonna try uh, to order more things from this website because as I said, it has a lot of nice brands on that website. So let's just see how what we're gonna do. My plan is to do a crease with this like yellowish green and this green and maybe deepen it up and then put maybe this purple and some blue or something or maybe I don't know on the lid and maybe this yellow in the inner corner I don't know I am I'm just very excited can you can you tell I'm gonna start with as if this shade here it's a very light matte yellowish well, well, yeah, it is like a yellowish green or maybe it's just like 
a yellow. I don't know. We're gonna see, guys. We're gonna see. So I have primed my eyes with the Kiko Milano eyeshadow base. And yeah, let's just try it out. I really hope it's good because, yeah, I have been thinking about this palette a lot. So I have two Ace Bajay palettes from before, the Oceanic and the Flare palette, I believe it's called. Beautiful palettes and beautiful formulas. Do I have anything else from Ace Bajay? I don't know, guys, but I like their formula. I know they have new formula now, I believe. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is almost like a citrus. You see citrus? yellow beautiful let's put it here as well it's pigmented but you can also build it up i feel like it's not super like you can see it's pigmented but when i just add some more it gets a little bit darker and that's what i like and i also like when it's easy to blend out and this one is really easy to blend out like so oh what a beautiful shade i can have just this one on the whole lid and put that yellow shimmer like just a little bit maybe i'm gonna have that tomorrow i don't know <laughs> i'm just oh i'm so happy i have this now and guys if you live in europe check that website out if you don't want to pay like 55 us dollars for shipping now i'm gonna take this ninja turtle oh my god these names I mean, I am, I'm an 80s girl, like I'm born 82, so I mean, Ninja Turtles, that was a big thing <laughs> when I grew up. <laughs> that and My Little Ponies, of course. So, this is beautiful green. I'm gonna deepen up even more, but I want to see how these layers, I don't know if I have seen, I think I've seen Ayelka Nyqvist. I hope I remember to link her down below. You've probably have seen that video, but she made some looks with this palette. I can't remember her thoughts actually. So for me, I, I'm not sure. I'm just doing this without knowing what people think because I think she liked it, but you never know. Uh, I think it was vacation as well. So I didn't watch that much YouTube, but I couldn't not see this palette. <laughs> when I saw it, I knew. This was something for me. Now I'm gonna take this grungy. This is a brown. You can see it's like a dirty brown, almost. So let's try this one. And yeah, this works so good. I like that it has these rows, like rows of like color rows. So you can actually go row by row. And you know it will work together probably. So I'm just gonna, it's just a little bit patchy here. I don't know if I was slapping this on a little bit unevenly. Maybe this looks better on this side. Maybe it's the primer, yeah. It definitely looks better here than the side, but probably maybe it is the primer or something or. I have shadow there from before. Anyway, let's see. What I mean is like, you can see like row by row, like the purple, the neutral, the purple, the greens, and the pink. I think I actually want to go in with the shimmer now because I feel like this situation we need to get rid of. I want to take this purple here. Can you see how it sparkles? Like, look at that shade sparkles well we're gonna we're gonna try this one and I'm gonna spray it because I do want it to be super sparkly so I hope it will be let's just take a little bit of this okay now we're gonna see if this is I want to try a lot of shimmers a little bit of fallout but not much I'm gonna put it like in the middle. This is beautiful. I do want to go in with some blue as well. I think I'm gonna go in with this boy band. This one. This was the purple rain, by the way. I love these names. <laughs> this is the dark blue shimmer. Let's put some here. 
I don't think this is that sparkly as the purple one. You actually can see that in the pan as well. Like, you can see, maybe you can't. Like, this is more sparkly than this one. And these are more sparkly. I think I'm gonna go in actually with the light blue as well. So let's try this one. Oh my god, you can't see anything like this. Maybe we're just gonna put it here. Like, I don't know how this is gonna look. Now I feel like I'm mixing a lot here. This is turning to a highlight, I believe, somehow. I don't know. This is beautiful. This blue. This blue is very, very beautiful. I'm actually going to take that in the outer part as well because just to tie it a little bit together. It's almost like a little bit of green in it. I hope you can see. Stunning. Do we need some like lighter? I think we need like a spotlight thing in the middle. I'm going to take this Walkman. It's like a light pink. Maybe we can just like put it in the middle. Didn't think I was going to do a halo eye today, but <laughs> obviously we're doing that now. But I don't mind it. This is beautiful. This pink. Can you see how it sparkles? Like that really beautiful. This is a interesting combination, I believe. I'm going in with that green again. Maybe we're just gonna like blend it a little bit together here. I'm gonna put maybe a little bit of eye primer under my eyes as well. Just because we're gonna put shadow there and it's gonna stick a lot better. I don't think I'm gonna use this beautiful yellow shimmer, but I need to use it in the next look because if you have been here, you know I love, love yellow and yellow shimmer. Oh my god. Under my eyes, I'm just gonna take this one again and deepen up with this one and also the brown. Just like we did like here on the, in the crease. Okay guys, I think I need to clean this up a little bit <laughs> and put something in my waterline. I think I want to do like a dark blue because we have blue going on here and maybe that could be cool and I want to put some liner, mascara and lashes and something on my lips as well and I come back and I show you the finished look up close. Okay guys, this was the first look with this palette and I must say I am so impressed so far. I I think I had high expectations and first impression really really nice. But I'm going to tell you what I have on my lips. I put these this combo on my lips. This is a very matte nude look. As you can see, this is super matte, this lipstick, but it's very comfortable. It is from Makeup Revolution or Revolution Pro, I believe. It's their like new neutral series uh, and this is in cashmere so it has this leopard print and i line my lips with the xo beauty lip pencil in marie and i put this one in my waterline it's a blue one like a dark blue from colourpop yeah and some lashes that flutter realized 117 lashes from allure and let me just tell you <laughs> what i think for first impression first of all don't we just love the shimmers like it's super sparkly and it's very easy to work with, I feel like. It was a little bit patchy. Was it this side or this side? Like the matte. Uh, but I think maybe it could be either the primer was uneven or maybe I put like a little more shadow underneath and then it was not like evenly at first. Like... <laughs> It was not even first, the first layer. I don't know. We're gonna see. <laughs> We're gonna do a second look as well. And I'm gonna use this off camera. I'm gonna use it tomorrow when I go to work, obviously. And I'm gonna use it, uh, let's see, or not. Yeah, tomorrow off camera. On Saturday, I'm gonna film look number two or Sunday. I don't know. I'm gonna use it more. But 
for a first impression, so, so happy with the quality. I mean, the mats perform really, really nice. It was pigmented, as you could see. I could build it up, I could layer it, and this one was stunning, this yellow and the green as well, and this brown also. And the shimmers, how many shimmers did we use? I mean, we used four shimmers. This was amazing, like how sparkly was that one? And this one as well was stunning, guys. I'm not like a blue girl, like loves blue on my eyes, but I can feel like this is a stunning, 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 just stunning shade. This I can actually see myself using more, but maybe with a brown neutral crease, uh, because I like to have a more neutral look when I go for blue. I don't know why, but it's just how it is. <laughs> but I really love this look. What do you think guys? So uh, you're gonna see look number two and I'm gonna figure out what I'm going to do for look number two. I feel like I need to use this one. I mean yellow, yes, but there's so many options here so I, I think I'm gonna have a struggle to figure it out but yeah let's just go to look at number two. Time for look at number two guys and I want to play with the pinks and purples and I do love that yellow. I have used it between these two looks because I have I have one look I'm going to show you in the end of the video that I did just for work, but I filmed this with my phone. Just going to show you. But yeah, I think I'm going to go from like pink to purple, like in the crease. And yeah, maybe some pinks today. I don't know. I love pink. So <laughs> I'm going to start with this Vogue color here. And that is pigmented, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> and this is the lightest color. So I'm just gonna put it like in the inner part of my crease. Maybe I need to be a little light-handed here. Just to create a little more softer color. But that's beautiful. Now I'm going in with this bright one. Oh my god. Neon. <laughs> what a great name of that one. It is neon. <laughs> this is super bright. I'm not sure what I'm going to blend this out with because now I'm just putting it in the crease. <laughs> We're gonna try to like soften the edges a little bit here. Very impressive with these shadows so far I will say. I mean they are super pigmented and stunning. Now it's time for the purple. I'm gonna take this Friends, this one. I'm using the same brush. I'm just cleaning it in between with this one. So here we have the purple one. We're gonna go from pink to purple. And this is a beautiful, beautiful shade, beautiful purple. Let's deepen this up a little bit. We have a lot of dark shades here. So I think I'm gonna take this Digital Pet. These are funny names. <laughs> I mean, this is really like, it's like the 80s. I don't know, but it, yeah, it's fun anyway. So let's put it here. Small brush, deepen this up a little bit here. Okay, now I have pink to purple. I do want to use this material girl, this beautiful pink on my lid. So I'm gonna spray it as well. So we're gonna pick that up. Feels like it's a rose kind of pink. We're gonna see. Yeah, this is beautiful. And in the inner part, we're gonna try another shimmer. So I'm just gonna put this here in the middle. And then we're going in, I think I need a pencil brush maybe. I'm gonna use a pencil brush and I'm going to take this Queen. This is a pink, but it shifts in like, I feel like gold and I don't know, a lot of sparkly sheets. So we're gonna try that one. These shimmers are very like creamy. Yeah, so this is more like really pink. I don't know if you're able to see this, but this is more actually pink shade. I'm gonna clean up a little bit with this Too Faced powder that I always do because I don't want it to be like, I want it to be a little bit sharper here, like the edge. 
So let's see what we're gonna do now. I, I don't know really. I mean, we have a lot of pinks going on, so maybe we should do, I don't know, I just wanna use this one. Maybe we can use that in the inner corner. I'm gonna take this funny pack and I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes. I think that looks very pretty, this shade. gonna put a little bit here. I'm gonna take this Vogue just to have a little bit underneath as well so maybe we can kind of blend out a little bit with that pink and I do think we need that dark purple as well just to I'm gonna take that just a small amount just in the like actual really outer part here just to connect a little bit as well so I have a connection I really like this. I mean, it is very sparkly and beautiful, these shimmers. I'm gonna take my finger and just push a little bit more of that material girl on. I really like that shade. Here I have something like blue, <laughs> blue eyeshadow or something. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that yellow shimmer and put it in my inner corner because it's beautiful. So let's take this one. This is a little bit harder to pick up, I feel like. It is, I don't know if you can see, but it moves around in the pan. You can see. Oh, that is so beautiful. Now I have it everywhere, but it is absolutely beautiful. Maybe I actually can have it a little bit here in the inner corner as well, because I do love yellow. <laughs> so. I'm gonna press it in a little bit. That is beautiful. I'm gonna take my finger because look at that. Oh my God, that is a beautiful shape. Ooh, <gasps> wow. I don't know if you can see, but it's there. <laughs> it's there and it's beautiful. It's super creamy and I'm just pushing it a little bit here. This was really beautiful. Now I'm just laying, layering it in top of that pink shadow we had, <laughs> that queen shadow, but I don't care because this is beautiful. Okay, now I'm really happy with how this looks, but yeah, I think I'm <laughs> done with this look. Uh, I'm gonna put something on waterline, you know the drill, everything, lashes, mascara, and I come back and I show you the finished look up close. that was the second look guys and what do you think what do you think of these two looks I really love this one too I really love the first one as well <laughs> and I'm also gonna insert I'm gonna insert it now uh, maybe a look maybe <laughs> a look that I did uh, one day when I was uh, going to work and it turned out absolutely beautiful I'm gonna tell you what I used. I did a more neutral look so I used these browns here I think this one or maybe it was these two and then I put this one on the lid and also the yellow but this one was spectacular it has like almost like a green shift to it and it has like a base like a reddish base and it has this gold gold green shimmer to it and it reminds me of one shadow that I love in the Natasha Denona gold palette that I have it's absolutely beautiful and sparkly so I was really happy about that look too and yeah I'm gonna tell you what I have uh, on this look, I took this one in my waterline, a yellow. This is from LA Girl, the Shockwave Neon Liner in Screaming. And on the lips, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And I also have this one. This is the Clarence, let's see here, Natural Lip Perfector. And this is in the shade number one, Rose Shimmer. It is like a lip oil, but it is or a lip gloss uh, and it has color to it that we like pale pink and the flutter relies 117 lashes <laughs> of course so let's 
let's talk about this palette. And I will tell you, I mean, I have used not every shade here. Uh, I haven't. I haven't used this one, this one. You know, there are some shades here I haven't used, but all the other shades I have used, I am so impressed by this palette and I love the color story. I love that it has really deep shades. I love that you can do a neutral look as well because I do love that. And it doesn't have like a ton of neutrals, but it has some. And all these beautiful shimmers, they are spectacular in my opinion. They are so beautiful and sparkly, as you could see in these looks. And they are a little bit creamy. Like this one, for example, it was a little bit hard to get it on the brush right now. I don't know if it was easier, like the first layer, and then it gets more creamier, then it's a little bit harder to pick up. It reminds me of the Beauty Bay formula, but I do love the Beauty Bay formula because it is super sparkly. So uh, I think this one I'm gonna use with my fingers. But Oh my god, I am so excited and happy that this palette performs so good and I'm so happy with the results I got from these three looks I've done. And yeah, I'm gonna continue using this of course and come back to you maybe later and tell you a little more what I think about it. But for like first, second and third impression, I am so happy and I am very, very impressed with this palette. So that's it guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you have and don't forget to subscribe and I see you in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.